in this video we will uh, learn about uh, multi uh, dimensional arrays or uh, we will uh, learn it by an example of uh, uh, writing a kotlin program to add two metrics using multi dimensional arrays okay so uh, uh, let's say there is a main function and uh, inside the main function there is a uh, value of rows let's say it is 2 and uh, value of columns let's say it is 3 now there is a value and i have to uh, define a array okay so i hope you remember how to define an array now uh, the value first matrix and uh, it is an array of uh, now array of two small arrays okay so uh, it is an array of two arrays okay so this is the multi-dimensional array okay so i'll just define int array of now uh, let's say two three four now this is a multi-dimensional array because there are uh, arrays they, there is an array of uh, different arrays okay there is two arrays two three four and uh, let's say uh, five two three okay i i i'll add another array uh, let's say five two three so the first matrix is an array of two different matrix two int matrix okay similarly uh, let's say i have a uh, second matrix c c o n d matrix okay so let's say it is an array of uh, int array uh, minus 4 5 3 and uh, let's say int array of 5 6 and 3 okay so we have two multi-dimensional arrays uh, first matrix and second matrix now uh, we have to write a program to uh, add these two matrix okay so uh, for adding these uh, two matrices uh, what i'll do is uh, so what is adding of two matrices if you remember in mathematics the adding the, if there is a matrix one two three okay uh, okay i have to comment it out uh, okay so if there is a matrix one two three and uh, four two three four so i i have to add this matrix with an a matrix with, with a matrix uh, let's say five six seven and uh, let's say uh, seven seven eight nine okay now uh, what what i will do is i'll add one with five okay two with six three with seven two with seven three with eight and four with nine respectively okay so this is the addition of matrix now for adding these two matrix what i can do is i can uh, introduce a variable sum which is equals to the uh, array array rows of the int rows x uh, just a second rows of int array and uh, then columns okay so uh, what i did here is uh, we, firstly uh, the two matrix are stored in a 2d array namely first matrix and second matrix we have also defined uh, defined the number of rows and columns and stored them in variable rows and columns respectively then we initialized a new array uh, then we can, then we will initialize a new array of the given rows and columns called sum okay so the sum is the given rows and the columns of uh, this uh, the 2 and 3 which is defined okay so the sum is basically int 
uh, array rows and int array co columns okay because uh, these array this array has two rows okay and inside these two in, inside this there is a two uh, int arrays and each int array co contains the number of columns which is 3 okay so i have defined the sum here which is 2 comma 3 let's say so uh, for i in 0 2 uh, rows uh, minus 1 okay and inside this uh, so uh, like uh, we uh, loop through each index of both arrays to add stone uh, add store the result add and store the result okay so for uh, going through each array so we will go through the first array for this and inside this i will introduce another for loop for the columns so for j in 0 to columns minus 1 okay so by this we can iterate in the whole array or whole matrix i can say so sum uh, i and j okay because sum is what sum is basically this thing so sum ij uh, is equals to first matrix of ij i and first matrix j and uh, then sum of uh, first matrix and second matrix so what is happening here i can i will explain it again uh, to uh, make it uh, very much clear for you okay so uh, let's see here okay so the first matrix let's see here okay yeah so the one here i can call the one as first matrix one one okay i can call it as first matrix one two so for iterating in ij so i have introduced introduced two uh, for loops and the first is called zero uh, zeroth element second is called the second element third is called the third element that's why it is row minus one and column minus one okay so the sum will be the ad addition of two matrices will be pretty clear for you okay so finally we uh, loop through each element in the sum sum array using uh, for loop to print uh, so yeah so for printing or displaying the result uh, we have to display the result also right display the result so for displaying the result i'll uh, print the uh, firstly sum of the two matrices is okay now what is the sum so for printing the sum we have again use again uh, we we again have to use the loops so for row in sum okay and inside this i have to uh, I again introduce a for loop for column in sum column in sum i have to print not print ln i have to print the value of column and then some spaces okay so i have printed the column and then again iterated and then again print another column okay and then print ln okay so when i go ahead and uh, run this okay there is some problem with it uh, let me see what is okay yeah so uh, when i uh, run this program uh, i can see that the sum of two matrices uh, is minus 2 8 7 10 8 6 oh, I, I can cross check it also uh, with this 2 mi minus 4 3 plus 5 4 plus 3 2 plus 5 plus 5 2 plus 6 and 3 plus 3 okay so this is correct 
so uh, in this video we have learned about the multidimensional arrays and uh, how to add two mat matrices we have uh, coded the uh, code in Kotlin. Okay, so thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned.